Welcome back. We shall cause. You are given the functions f of x equals to cos 1 over 2x and g of x minus 2 sine of x for the domain x between negative 90 to 270. The first question that you are required to answer is sketch the graph sketch the graphs of the functions on the same system of axes provided on the diagram sheet. So you are required to sketch, which is the most important word. You need to sketch, and these functions must be on the same system of axes. So um, one most important thing that I always advise my student is before sketching any graph, make sure that you tabulate all the values that you are needed. For example, I've got this table over here, which can be used that shows the value of x based on the domain from 90, negative 90 to 270, based on the domain that we are given right here. And you are, you're supposed to uh, put use your calculator to put the values of f of x and the values of g of x. Okay, that's my values. So this, and then um, we can resize this just to make sure. I uh, hope everybody can be able to see what we are doing here. Just remember again, if for any reason, you feel like I'm moving too fast, always pause the video and go back and do whatever that you want. As long as at the end of this video, you're able to understand what I did and how I did to answer these questions, okay? Now, when you have this table, you're able to plot it like bang on this, um, diagram sheet over here where I have actually I have two graphs that are both represented by different colors can move it here so that we can all see that the red line represent the function of f of x whilst the blue line represents the function of g of x so after this, always go back to the question and see if you have really correctly answered the question. So the question was 1.1. They were asking for us to sketch the graph, the graphs, both of these, uh, for both of these functions, which we have successfully done that. Okay. So moving on, we have 1.2, question 1.2. They are requiring you to determine from the graph the values of x, the graph, that's these graphs here, the values of x between 0 and 270, for which then you have two questions. But you need to understand that they gave you this range over here for x. That means you are dealing with from 0 all the way to 270 okay and uh, so that means you, you, you're not supposed to look at this part so we're only focusing on this 1.2.1 they are saying g of x minus f of x is greater than zero all that means that that means is that you can put it here g of x minus f of x greater than zero. That just means the difference of the two graphs where the difference is actually positive. Okay. Then you can rearrange this in order to just make life uh, simpler. You can rearrange and uh, you will have g. So you take, you can take f of x to the other side. That means you are left with f g of x 
greater than f of x. So you need to go back to the graph, right? And see where the g of x is actually greater than the f of x. So, and this is for the domain 0 to 270. So on this side, where is the g of x greater than the f of x? Well, simply I can tell you that the blue line is higher than the red line from here all the way to there, right? So that means um, we can therefore simply say that that um, our domain is when x is between 180 and 270. And this is how you get to represent it. Um, notice that we have different signs here. Here we're saying x when it's greater than 180 because we can't say equal to 180 because at 180 they're actually the same. That's where they intersect. Where they intersect, that's where they have the same value. Therefore, you can't say any graph or any function is greater than the other, right? Therefore, we are saying from just after 180, the g of x is greater than the f of x all the way to 270. So here, because here we're saying up to when x is less than 270 because remember we are dealing with the domain up to 270. So now we are saying equal to 270 because even at 270, the graph of g of x, it is still greater than the f of x, right? Therefore, that's why we have this less or equal to 270. Make sense? Okay, great. So the second question of 1.2 says that the, the product of f of x is less than zero. So that means where the product is actually negative, where is it on the graph that the product of f of x is less than zero? And remember, we're dealing with the domain 0 to 270, which is only this side. Okay, so, well, we, that can be determined. These, pro, this product can only be negative if one of the functions is negative. And I can see that from here to there, the f of x is positive, while the g of x is negative. The, that means from here, if you multiply them right here up to this 180, you will get a negative, which is less than a zero. And also here from there to there, if you multiply the g of x with the f of x, because the g of x is positive, f of x is negative, therefore you will still get a negative value. So that means therefore from zero, okay, all the way to 270, which is the domain that we're dealing with, your, the product of the two graphs will give you a negative. And then you can represent it like this, where you say zero less than x. So x between zero and 270, the product of f of x and g of x is zero okay last question which is 1.3 question 1.3 is saying determine m if minus 2 sine of x equals to minus 2 cos of x plus m okay that should be easy um moving forward 1.1, 1 1.3, 1 I mean, uh, you just put that together as I've, I was saying it. And then 
obviously minus two and minus two, they can take each other out. You're left with cos x plus m equals to sine of x. We are looking for the value of m. Therefore, x plus m is equals to the arc sine of whatever that's on the right hand side, which is the sine of x. Then we can take the x to the other side, where now we are left with only m equals to a cos of sine of x minus x.